Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Mark, endoscopic spine specialist. Today, I'd like to talk about a case that uh, I saw a few months ago, and I thought it was interesting because it was a patient who had been uh, recommended uh, to have a fusion uh, at the L4-5 level for a small protruding disc. But the patient didn't want a fusion, his chiropractor didn't want him to have a fusion, and so he was down here to see if this was possible. The challenge with this particular case is the significant degenerative disc disease and disc space narrowing. So I'd like to just take, present the case of this 44 year old and see if you think that you could do an endoscopic transframinal discectomy for this. On this sagittal view of the MRI scan, we can see that there's significant uh, disc space narrowing in compared to the other disc spaces. So four or five is the obvious problem and you can also see the uh, disc protrusion back here, but not too much space uh, in the uh, intervertebral space posteriorly. I'm gonna click a couple of shots to show you because his pain was mainly right-sided. So as we get over here, we can see that uh, it's a disc protrusion of some significance and then actually turns into a small uh, little protrusion there that goes a little inferior. But again, not much of a disc space here. And this picture corresponds to the axial slices right in this line here. So we're getting toward the lateral recess. The big challenge here is to think about whether a transframinal discectomy could be performed with such a narrow intervertebral disc space. I think that the patient went back and forth about three times because no matter where he went for a second opinion, they told him it could not be done without a fusion. It actually made me think twice about it, and I called my friend, Dr. Scott Adelman in Salt Lake, and he concluded, as I did, that certainly an endoscopic transframmal discectomy could be performed in this patient successfully. So the transframmal discectomy was performed, and I was able to uh, get the disc. Now, admittedly, placement of the endoscope was fairly far posterior, but in the end, I was able to get a fairly thickened, almost plastic, hard plastic-like piece of disc that came out and uh, immediately after the surgery, the patient was rendered pain-free with respect to his buttock pain and his leg pain, which was more minor. His major problem was sitting for more than 10 or 15 minutes before he would get extreme buttock pain. In addition, this gentleman was also trying to get back to fly back to visit some family members in Europe who were, uh, uh, and who were actually in such bad health that he was concerned that he may not get back in time. Another reason he was motivated not to have a fusion. In the end, he was able to uh, be pain-free within about two weeks, two to three weeks. He was sitting comfortably 30 to 45 minutes and uh, within a, maybe three weeks as well. And within a, about four to six weeks, he was sitting for hours at a time, all without his symptoms and all without a fusion. Uh, I'd like to just go ahead and also put on his uh, uh, little patient story at the end of this so you can get a sense of what the experience was like from him. In any event, a situation here, significantly degenerated uh, disc space, narrowed, uh, but with a small disc protrusion causing significant symptoms, and uh, was able to be resolved with a transframmal discectomy performed as an outpatient and without a fusion. Uh, my name is Ray Gatz, and I give permission uh, for Tony to tell my story. Um, I had been dealing with a uh, very severe uh, low back uh, sciatic issue, which uh, allowed me not to sit and I've been dealing with that issue for approximately 18 months. It subsequently got uh, considerably worse. I had uh, been to numerous surgeons who uh, indicated that uh, the only remedy was a fusion uh, due to knowing other people who had not very much success with fusions. Uh, to me that was not an option. I have gone pretty much everything uh, short of a fusion, uh, chiropractic, uh, RX-9000 decompression, 40 adult sessions, 40 deep, uh, deep tissue massages, uh, all the chiropractic things you can imagine, uh, acupuncture, uh, you name it, I've done it. There was no other alternative. Back to the doctor, still fusion. Uh, I did quite a bit more research and then found out that uh, there's a person named Tony Mark who ended up being my savior. Um, 
I had the operation about six weeks ago. Um, went through the normal two, four, six week uh, uh, recovery. Um, the operation, by the way, was a outpatient endoscopic discectomy. Operation was actually very easy. Um, I was a little bit nervous about that, uh, knowing that I would be awake, but it was a, it was fine. It was a no brainer. Um, six weeks later, I'm doing very well. I'm doing my two walks a day. I'm sitting all day long. Again, beforehand, I was not able to sit. Before, I was able to sit approximately 15 minutes at a time. I had special pillows made, uh, foam cushions that allowed me to sit for about 30 minutes, and that was it once a day. Uh, extreme excruciating sciatic pain all the way in the glutes and all the way down my leg. Um, that was gone pretty much instantly, about 95% of that was gone within uh, 24 hours after the operation. Um, and now, today, I'm able to stand up with no problem. I'm able to bend and almost touch my toes. That will come probably in another week or so. And as you can tell, I can also fully go into a back arch position. And I have no problem doing this, and I have no problem doing this. Uh, yesterday, I sat for approximately eight hours, of course, getting out for the restroom and food and things of that nature. Um, but I am very <laughs> ecstatic with my new life. And in two weeks, I'll be going on my Europe trip, which I would not have been able to do. So, Tony, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please contact me with any questions you might have. Take a look at my YouTube site or visit me at drtonymark.com. Send me an email with any questions you might have. Thanks. Talk to you next month.